What is up guys? Welcome back to I'm So Craigie. This video is continuing on from my videos on South Wales. You can watch them by clicking the playlist in the top right of your screen now. At the end of my last video I was at Newport Beach in West Wales. Now I'm driving up the west coast heading to a campsite called Llyn Gwynant in Snowdonia National Park which is in North Wales. I'm going up to meet with my sister for the night. You might remember my sister from my skiing in Scotland and my Isle of Lundy videos. <music> Camping with my sister again. Paige, this is the third time you've featured on I'm So Craigie. How do you feel? Famous. Normally don't ask special guests to come back for a second time, so consider yourself lucky. Not a bad place, is it? Look, river right there. And there's little duckos as well. I love ducks. My favourite animal ducks are. There it is. Look at them. They're so humble. <laughs> Look at that. What did you say? They are. Llyn campsite is directly next to Gwynant Lake, or to name it correctly, Llyn Gwynant. Llyn meaning lake in Welsh. The campsite costs £15 a night to pitch a tent with no electric hookup. Llyn Gwynant is a giant lake with some cliffs on one side for jumping off, and it seems like you're allowed to fish there too. We were just there for the paddleboarding though, which we were just terrible at to be honest. After feeding the duckos, we pumped up our paddleboards and got to it. <laughs> Hi guys, my name's Sam, this is Ella, and this is Cooking with Sam and Ella. Alright guys, we are making some dog hots. You like hot dogs? Go backwards. First you want to get yourself some frankfurters. I've gone for the extra large because I don't f around. Two of them, and you want to slice them down the middle. As you can see guys, I haven't cut them all the way through. You want to be leaving them like that. Right, once you've done that, add the bread as you can see here guys. Apply your sauce. I don't think the world is ready for this. But once you've done, you've got yourself a dog hot. And how delicious does that look? What do you reckon, Paige? Delicious. <laughs> Let me try it. We're adults, by the way. Mmm. And it's so much healthier, because there's less bread. Right, cooking the dog hot's killed some time. Now the barbecue's ready to go. So, get your beef burgers. Obviously nothing but Welsh beef, because we are in Wales after all. Once they're on there, guys, you want to apply the salt and pepper. Let's try that again. No pressure, Paige. And you leave those bad boys cook. <laughs> As you can see guys, this is a very serious cooking show. Here we go, get them turned. Once they're turned over, you want to be... <laughs> playing with salt and pepper. And then you leave those bad boys cook a little longer. At this point guys, most people would butter their buns. But let me show you a little trick. What you want to do is grab yourself some mayonnaise and butter it with mayonnaise. Don't knock it before you try it because this is really nice. Optionally, you can add a bit of pepper. Once you've peppered them, they go on the grill. Once they're done, you want to be getting these off the grill. And then you add your mayonnaise buns. Grill these bad boys for a little bit. Once you've got this fag, guys, you want to be applying your cheese. I've gone for mozzarella and emmental, I guess. I'm going for two slices on each layer because everyone knows you can never get enough cheese. Then at this point, this is completely optional, guys, but I'm going to add some mixed herbs because I'm a naughty boy and I love Italian herbs on everything. Then you want to apply your bun and then on to the final step of this journey, melt the cheese. On a low heat, I don't want to cook the bun, I just want to melt the cheese. And once that's done guys, you've got yourself a banging cheeseburger. Look at that, there's more cheese and burger. You are welcome.
The next day I had a quick swim before we packed up and checked out. I got my car ready for living in again, then said bye to my sister. I spent the entire day parked outside reception using the NAF Wi-Fi to edit and upload one of my videos. The toilet block is outside of the gate, so for the van lifers looking to sneak in somewhere for a shower, it's easily done. Just walk right on past the reception building. There's also a place to fill up your water tank too. For those of you who are new to my channel and are wondering why I'm showing you where the toilet block is and the tap is, it's because my channel is all about budget travel and saving money. When you're living on the road, sure you could pay to use a shower at the gym, or you could tune into my channel and do with this information what you will. Look what I just found at the campsite mind, absolutely winning. My one broke when I was out in Europe, so I'm having that. Yeah, maybe not. I see why it's been given away now. <laughs> so I just got to this really cool camping spot, but it's pitch black. But I know this view is incredible, but it's pitch black now, so I can't see it. See the campsites down there, the campsite lights? That's the campsite. So this place has no signs up saying no camping. But no signs up at all, there's no restrictions, it's just like a lay-by on the side of the road. This is a, a rare place to park that I found here because in Wales they put restrictions on everything when it comes to camping, freedom camping, unfortunately. So this is very rare, this place, so the coordinates as always are going to be in the description and if you are living van life, there is a campsite that I stayed at. This is literally a quarter of a mile away. I've been driving for like two minutes to get here so it's your call if you want to pay 15 euros or for motorhomes it'll be more to stay at the campsite or you can just park here for free and just go and use the campsite facilities i've been there all day using the facilities i filled my tanks up i've been using their wi-fi to do my thumbnail and upload my new video that is the waterfalls in valencia so right now however long ago that was i literally just uploaded that video like 30 minutes ago it's about half past 11 now at night and the lake is like right there the lakes are free for all they don't own the lake so don't even worry about it guys save yourself some money and just camp up here. I'm going to put some Rick and Morty and get some much needed sleep because I've been working on that Valencia video for about oh, 14 or 15 hours today. I'm knackered. Good night. Such a shame guys that it's raining. Ooh, it's a lovely view boy. So yesterday I literally did nothing besides edit my video all day long. Today I'm driving out of Snowdonia and heading towards the Isle of Anglesey to a tiny town which boasts the longest place name in the UK and I think the second longest in the world. It's called Llanfeibwch Gwyn Gil Gogeli Gwyn Drobl Llan Tysilio Gogogoch excuse my pronunciation, but you can call it Llanvaya for short, and contains a whopping 58 characters and 51 letters due to some characters such as the double L being digraphs which represent just one letter in the Welsh alphabet. And I knew how to pronounce that name when I was there and I didn't just learn for the sake of this voiceover, I promise. Here, I have proof. Translated, the town is called the Church of Mary in the hollow of the white hazel near the fierce whirlpool and the church of Tassilio by the Red Cave. There's a place on Anglesey called Hollyhead where you can get a ferry to Dublin. It's the route I took when I went over to Ireland to shoot my videos. I took a little drive around Anglesey and had lunch at Bull Bay, which is basically the most northern part of Wales. So today's lunch is spicy chilli rice with, I think I'm going to go for some mackerel today, throw it out there a little bit. drove over Menai Suspension Bridge back to mainland Wales, heading for a small town called Conwy. I passed through Bangor on the way but decided not to stop. I was only in Conwy for one reason, and that was to visit the smallest house in Great Britain. The house cost £2.50 to go inside and look about. I'd never been to Conwy before, and if you haven't either, go. It's absolutely lush there. The little town is completely walled off and has a very impressive castle in it.
Give us a wave. Hello. <laughs> Price as well. Like, what's the value of the section? I've recorded this. Do you mind? Yeah, not sure. They won't um, value the house because it's still in the same family that built it. Really? Which was from 15. Wow. Yeah. So it just goes down to the females in the family. Oh, it's through the females. Yes. Yeah. I think the men are interested for some reason. Ah. Yeah. I mean, just because of. Uh, you know, it's a small section of the UK. I can imagine that alone raises the value to it. It's significant. Is it just? <laughs> <laughs> but no, it would never be valued because they're not interested in selling it. Oh, I was going to put an offer down. <laughs> <laughs> not really. he, he wouldn't want to stay there. No toilet, no bathroom, no kitchen. Yeah, but that's what the pub is for. You go in there, go to the toilet, brush your teeth in the morning, <laughs> grab a pint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Looking around, okay. how okay. everything is. The seat of the settle against the wall lifted up and the coal was set underneath. The cooking was done on the fire and the water tap was behind the stairs. When the house was lived in, there were no railings upstairs. And the trap door was lowered to make a complete floor in the bedroom. This house was built in the 16th century and lived in until 1900. The last inhabitant was a fisherman who was six feet, three inches tall. <laughs> I am in the UK's smallest house right now, guys. And I can tell you one thing, it's a lot more spacious than my car. <laughs> smallest house. Look at that. Loads of room for activities. I had a couple of local beers in Conway and as much as I wanted to stay there and get on it, I thought I'd drive to Llandudno and camp up there for the night. last night my car is just over there somewhere and I wake up to a view like that in Flandudno The best way to describe Clandudno is, in my opinion, it's like the Black Pool of Wales. It's only a small place but it's a vibing beachside town that is a lot of fun. There's lots of parking in Llandudno guys along the coastline and um, basically everywhere But you have to pay for it if you want free parking in the middle of Llandudno Find the retail park look for Marks and Spencer in the retail park and you get two hours free parking when you're driving in There's big pay and display signs everywhere have you paid and displayed But then you go to the ticket machine and then you'll realize you get two hours free parking and then you got to pay after that So if you're coming here just to have a little look around remember that just a short drive outside of Clandudno is Angel Bay, a place where you can go to see seals. Don't go down onto the beach though, they are wild animals and will get scared off. There are other places you can get up close to seals in the UK. Watch my Isle of Lundy video to learn how to do that. So we just got to Angel Bay. You have to drive through a housing estate to get to the entrance of the hike. It's meant to be real close, like 10 minutes from where you park your car. So you can park your car pretty much anywhere here.
Wales has a path that covers the entire coastline of the country called Wales Coast Path. It's 870 miles long, which can take anywhere from six weeks to over three months to hike, depending on your pace. And you will come across Angel Bay when walking this path. After watching the seals, I drove six minutes down the road to Ross on Sea Beach and had lunch there. After my food, I went shopping in preparation for the Three Peaks, which I did the next day. I started with Snowdon, which meant I had to drive back to Snowdonia National Park. Good morning everybody, I'm in Snowdonia National Park. Today I'm starting the Three Peaks. I'm parked in an awesome spot, let's check it out guys. I haven't opened my door yet, so I don't know what the view's like. I pulled up late last night, so I don't know exactly where I'm parked in relation to the nice view, but let's have a look, shall we? E to the <laughs> oh my god oh god look at that this tiny little country has so many things to boast about yet so little people around the world know it even exists as of recording this wales has the longest coastal footpath in the world and is the only country in the world with an official footpath that covers the entirety of its coastline it's home to one of the longest place names in the world one of the smallest houses in the world the fastest zip line in the world and the longest in europe the only place in the world with an underground trampoline park it has more castles per square mile than any other country in europe and at times we have one of the best rugby teams in the world and not to mention the coolest flag in the world and people wonder why the Welsh are so proud if you've never been here come if you're from here but never traveled it travel it this country is beautiful this country is Wales thank you for watching Cymru and Beth.